Hi guys, this is there we go. Hi guys, this is the reading for January 1st to January 7th, 2013. Happy New Year. Um, I'm not going to do the year-long forecast until Wednesday night because um, I have a guest that's sort of time-consuming. It's an animal and uh, I just don't have the attention span to concentrate to do it correctly. So I'm going to wait till I'm a little more recharged to do it. Um, so, and I'm not, I haven't looked at anybody else's year long forecast, so I'm going to wait, do mine, and then I'll compare notes. Okay. For the week I used, I really got a loving, whimsical feeling for the week and for the year and for January. So I used messages from your angels and I used the mermaid deck, which is also a big manifestation tool for a lot of people. And here's what we got. Express your individuality. Allow your true self to shine because you're awesome. And make a decision. Feeling stuck or indecisive? Listen to your intuition and make a decision. Some of you, um, there's two parts to this. One is you need to be yourself in order to succeed in so many different ways. In order to attract the right friends, in order to get the right business people and clients and have your business sell and have you you be a good person wherever you are job wise. Um, you need to decide to be you is what I'm getting. You need to actually allow that person to show through. There's been a lot of layers that have peeled through through the years for different reasons. We've all kind of gone through the shifts together. Now's the time when it's safe to go ahead and just let the last layer peel off. For make a decision, there's something you've been putting off um, a decision that you need to decide for yourself. No one can really make this for you. Health, career, children, how to raise your children, who to choose for a soulmate, what to do about the soulmate situation. You have to decide. You have to listen to yourself and decide and do whatever it takes, even if it's the tough road. And I'm right there with you, so you're in good company. But that's what this means. You're going to have to kind of make a decision in your mind and you'll know what it is and you'll be able to do it, but somehow you'll have the strength to do it because somehow you'll be in a, you'll be in a better position to do it or make the decision. That's really clearly kind of what I'm getting. Um, it was very, I remember at the end of the year, I felt very hazy and just didn't know where certain things were going. Now I feel like I know where certain things are going. It's weird. It's only been like a day or two days and yet it's strange. We got five cards for the mermaids, four cards for the fairies. So the fairies are saying new home. Moving is a, is a step in the right direction for you. And the mermaids are saying dream big, let go of small thoughts about yourself. See yourself succeeding. The new home, I'm actually, you know, yeah, you might be moving, but what I keep, what they keep saying is think of yourself as a new home. Think of yourself as a new person, as a regenerated person as a person with a new interior and exterior there's a new part of you because you've grown throughout the last 12 years so that part's grown your soul's evolved then your exteriors change because the the environments change radically and so we've had to do different things we've had to change our diet and we've had to shield ourselves literally with uv sunscreen and then we've also had to do the same thing with um, the shielding and clearing that we talked about all last year. That's what this new home is. Your body is a new home. That's what they're talking about with this card. Dream big, it means to actually use, think positive, be positive, picture positive, visualize positive, believe that you're going to do whatever it is you want to do and see it as happening and write it out and, you know, Tell nobody and just keep it in your head and it will happen. Um, so the dreaming big is don't don't set, settle for smaller is what I'm hearing. Settle for bigger even if you have to wait longer. And don't sell yourself short is the other part I'm hearing. You can, you can have what you want. That's what Lord Michael just said. Um, so that's some encouragement for us. Then... With the middle, this is also part of the middle of the week, and I guess with the mermaids, I should, 
should do the two together. Okay, so for the fairies, they're saying your wish is granted, what you've asked for is coming true. And it shows a girl, literally, it looks like she's holding a fairy or she's just seen one and she, so she's really happy. The mermaids, I got protection. You, your loved ones, and your possessions are safe and loved by heaven. You may be taking so many risks, you may not feel safe. But you are safe, is what they're telling me. And then the yes, well, this is a great card, is your intuition is correct, take action accordingly. Remember how I said there was something hidden and you may not be getting even evidence for it, but yet trust your gut. We got trust all last year. It was a huge message repeatedly. It's the same message repeatedly for this week. So it's, it's like a reiteration. Trust yourself. You may feel unsafe because you're asked to do things that almost feel unsafe because you're following your intuition and it's kind of scary. But I saw this cool sign that once that said, it is always scary to trust your intuition. It is disastrous not to follow it. Um, it's so true. It's just the truth. And then watch, watch the ending thing. The ending thing is going to blow you away. So the ending fairy message is, whom do you need to forgive? As you release old anger or resentment, you find that your wishes will come true. The thing that's stopping your wish from coming true is maybe anger or resentment towards someone or something that's happened. It might even be an event. It doesn't have to be a person. I just got this when I picked up the card. They're showing me people being angry about certain events that have happened. You can't be angry at a certain segment of your life because that part happened for a reason to bring you to this point now in your life, for you to be listening to this message, for you to be now getting and putting all the clues together for you to figure out the next step. So there's a reason why these things happened. Growth, to meet somebody new, to do certain things. Yeah, it was a pain. I understand that. But you need to forgive that segment of your life. You need to forgive those experiences. You need to forgive God, your family, your friends, your enemies. You need to forgive everybody, the universe, so everything can fall into place for you. Do it. I mean it. And then pay attention. Now, okay, so think about this. So the middle part of the week, we got yes, right? Which was, hold on, yes, which is follow your intuition and you're right. The last part of the week, we got pay attention, notice repetitive signs and your inner guidance as this can yield invaluable information. So after you know for a fact that you're right about something, whatever that is, because it feels like there's a lot that's going to happen this week, because I know that it, things were, were quiet because January 1st, everything was closed. January 2nd, bang, a lot happens. And then by the end of the week, your head's going to be spinning because, yes, you were right about something and you're going to know what, exactly what I'm talking about. But about Friday, suddenly there's going to be something else and you're going to be asking, what is it? You're going to get signs about it so you'll know which way to go. And then the cool thing is you're going to have a gut instinct again. And the big thing that they, I keep hearing Lord Gabriel, it's interesting, Lord Gabriel and Lord Michael just standing in front of me saying, trust, trust. Eventually all of you will learn to trust yourselves and that will be the whole key for everything. So you have to trust the universe. You have to trust yourself. And you have to trust the sign. Even though, and I know a lot of you are saying, but it's just a sign. Yes, it's just a sign until it actually happens. So if, if that makes you feel better, tell them that. Say, I can't really believe this because it's a sign. Could you help quicken this manifestation so I can believe your sign? You know, put it back on them so they can understand that you're listening to them, but you're having problems doubting. But give them your doubts and fears so they can heal it so your, so your manifestation can happen. It's a jam-packed week, but it does feel light. I have to tell you, the dream big and make a decision and your wish is granted and the yes. My God, that's awesome. Okay, so here's the prayer. May we all have the best. May the world feel love, peace, joy, prosperity, miracles, blessings. May it always have enough water, food, resources, supplies, allies, and friends. Dear God, angels, and all the spiritual entities who watch over us and our families, thank you so much for bringing us to this moment. Thank you for helping and guiding us, and thank you for helping us manifest these wonderful dreams and helping us decide. We look forward to you 
to to your to your where should I put this to your input, and we will talk to you often at night. Amen. They showed me right at that moment. They showed all of us sleeping, with all of us talking to either our spirit guides or or angels or whoever we believe in at night during sleep. So that was interesting. That's why I threw that in there. Okay, guys, have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week. Hopefully I will see you a little bit before then, and I will do the year reading.